Some of you have experienced that when you estimate an armor model and you include a dummy variable, then Oxmetrics will not provide forecasts out of sample. So in this video, I'll briefly show you how you can work around the problem in Oxmetrics in order to get a nice forecast out of sample, even when you include a dummy variable. So I'm going to work with the variable DLFY. This is the difference of the log if in the GDP for Denmark. And then we have a dummy variable here, which takes on a value of one in 1975 fourth quarter. So I will use the single equation dynamic modeling module. I formulate a model and let's just to keep it simple, estimate uh, an AR2 model like this. So we have a constant, we have two lags, and then we also include the dummy variable like this. Now we want to make 12 forecasts out of sample. So first we just estimate the model by OLS. We select the full sample here. We estimate the model. We can see that here we have the usual uh, model output. Here's the effect of the dummy. That one big uh, potential outlier there is now captured by the dummy variable. We get the results here. And now we want to forecast. So in order to do that, we go to model. We click on test. We click on forecast and we want to do 12 forecasts, dynamic forecast. And let's just click OK. Then we get the following graph. So this is a graph where all the forecasts are gone. So this is a small problem that we can work around simply by cheating Oxmetrics a bit. So the thing we do here is we open the data set. We go all the way to the bottom and then we want to extend our data set. So to extend the data set, we go to edit, and then we say change sample. And then here we can change the sample size. We can simply add 12 observations at the end. So we will do that like this. And if we scroll down, we see that we have a lot of missing values here. So what I will do is simply set all of these missing values to zero. Like this. You simply do that by clicking on the value and then you just press zero. Click enter and you do that all the way down. So now we have new time series. We only have zeros here in the last 12 observations. Now we go back to the model here and we want to re-estimate the model using the sample up until 2003, second quarter. So we go back to model formulate, we just keep the model from before. We click OK, estimate by OLS. And now here, we're going to do two things. So the first is we're going to extend the sample all the way to the end. So now we added 12 more observations at the end. But note that these were the observations where we now have zeros. So we don't really want to use that for our estimation. So next, we're going to say less forecast, set that to 12. That's going to give us exactly the same sample period as we had before, 71.4, up until 2006, second quarter, minus 12 observations. That takes us to 2003, second quarter. We click OK. We re-estimate the model. And note that the model we get here is exactly the same as before. We have the same estimation sample. We get the same estimated coefficients. So this is the same model as we had before. But now if we go back to model, we click test and we say forecast. Now we should be able to get the dynamic forecast 12 periods out of the sample or the estimation sample starting in 2003 second quarter. Click OK and this is what we get. Note now that we have the red line here, which is the actual value of DLFY. And note that we have all these zeros. So the one thing we could do now is we could open the graph window here and then we want to plot DLFY but note that we want to do instead just the last observations here so we want to do this until 2003 second quarter now we just have to get this down to say 12 observations like this so we start the sample 2000 third quarter and end 
at the last observation that we actually had in the sample. So this means that we will not include all the zeros that we uh, manually input. We click OK. We get a plot. And then I just close the graph window. This is the graph of the last 12 observations of DLFY. I'm clicking the graph now. And then I press Control c to copy this graph. Then I go to my forecast window. I click the graph here so that it is selected. And then I press Control v to insert the graph. Note that now we have DLFY twice. So I could double click. And you can see that we have here another one, which we could just make black. Click OK. And now you see that the last or the first part here, we have a new time series. And then only after this point, we have the zeros included. So let's go back and get this red again. And then the only thing left now is to right click, select delete from graph. And now we remove the first DLFY that we had constructed by the PZGIF module. Click delete. OK. And now we see what we want. Now we have the last 12 observations of the variable. And then we have our forecast. We have the forecast out of sample. So this is a way to work around this problem in Oxmetrics. So we get the forecast that we want. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching.